kids, I'm Pearl the Mermaid, and this is my best friend Cecil the Sea Lion. We believe in being kind and helping others. We also believe that it's important to play fair and follow the rules. Even when no one is looking. That's right, Cecil. Today's adventure is called Finish Line Fiasco. In it, Cecil and I learn that winning isn't as important as being a good sport. Remember, if you want to win something fair and square, you've got to have a plan. Like we always say, set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. It's another beautiful day off the coast of Southern California. It's a very special day, too. Today's the day of the big race, the Sand Dollar Sprint. The racers are just about to take their places at the starting line. Are you ready, Cecil? You bet! I'm gonna win that shiny first place trophy for sure. That would be fantastic, Cecil. But it'll certainly be a challenge. Otto the Sea Otter has been training for the Sand Dollar Sprint for weeks. I've seen him practicing every morning. I don't need to practice, Pearl. I'm big and fast and a really good swimmer. It'll be a piece of cake. Winning would be wonderful, of course. But what really matters is that you do your best, have fun, and enjoy the race with your friends. Good luck, Cecil. I'll see you at the finish line. I waved the big checkered flag to start the race, and they were off. The racers swam faster than flying fish through the cove and across the rocky ocean floor. At first, Cecil was in the lead with Otto the sea otter. He and Otto happily raced nose to nose, speeding through the crystal clear blue waters. Otto was fast though, faster than Cecil expected. Cecil kept up with Otto as best he could, but suddenly there was a problem. Cecil's energy was fading, and he started to feel very tired. So tired, in fact, that he fell far, far behind Otto and the other racers. Soon Cecil was out of breath and knew it would be impossible to catch back up. When Cecil stopped for a moment to rest his tired flippers, he spotted his friend Wally the whale. Hi, Cecil. You look tired. What's the matter? I'm racing in the Sand Dollar Sprint, but I'm not doing very well. Everybody's passed me by, and I'm in last place. Last place? Well, maybe I could give you a boost. A boost? What do you mean? Hop onto my tail and I'll show you. Cecil climbed into Wally's big, strong whale tail, and with one powerful flex of his muscles, Wally catapulted Cecil through the water. Whoa! Cecil was suddenly moving so fast, everything was a blur. He sped past the old sunken shipwreck and over the vast fields of colorful sea anemones until he finally spotted the other racers. Cecil was thrilled to zoom past them all with a whoosh. Once he got to the front of the pack, he could see that Otto was just about to cross the finish line. The boost from Wally's tail was so strong that Cecil easily zipped past Otto and crossed the finish line first. I won! I won! Congratulations, Cecil. That was amazing. Wow, great job, Cecil. You are so fast. I'm so impressed. Congratulations. But as his friends surrounded him cheering his win, Cecil started to get a bad feeling in the pit of his stomach. He may have crossed the finish line first, but he knew he couldn't have done it without Wally's help. Without the boost from Wally, Cecil never would have won the race. It didn't seem fair to all the other racers, especially since so many of them had trained and practiced so hard for the race. The more Cecil thought about it, the worse he felt. Finally, Cecil knew that he had to speak up. Thank you all so much, but I can't accept the trophy. Otto is the one that really deserves it. That's okay, Cecil. You beat me fair and square. That's just it, Otto. I didn't. I had help getting across the finish line. I was so far behind, there was no way for me to catch up on my own. I got a boost from Wally's tail that helped me win the race. That wasn't fair. I'm so sorry. It was hard for Cecil to speak up about what he had done, but Cecil's sea friends were happy that he was honest with them about the boost. With a cheer, they gave Otto the trophy that he so truly deserved. I was proud of Cecil, too, for showing everyone at the Sand Dollar Sprint that playing fair is more important than winning. I have a plan, Pearl. I'm going to be a faster swimmer, so I'm going to work hard and train for next year's Sand Dollar Sprint starting right now. Maybe Otto will even want to practice with me? That way, even if I don't win, I still get the chance to spend time with my friend. That sounds like fun. 
It sure does, Cecil. Playing fair and showing good sportsmanship makes you a true winner. When you work hard to achieve something important to you, it makes the reward even sweeter. All you have to do is set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen.